Sue, my wonderful, wonderful, thank you. Lovely, lovely friends. I tell you what, this, this has been quite a, a windy afternoon here where I am right now, and I'm talking to you live from this beautiful lake. So I'm just going to show you where I am. Here we go. I was there, beautiful, beautiful. I was there an hour ago taking a little walk around. What I normally do before I come to you here on the Aspa Radio Network, even on Psychic Radio and Moonstruck TV. And then that is a place where I gather some inspiration, where God is talking to me, where I am breathing, where I'm taking walks and so on and so on. And it was just so very beautiful. So I decided to bring it here for you to share it, to share it. And I was just in such a, a mini hurry that even my microphone was not set up. So I'm just talking to you like this whether you can see my microphone or not. It's a little bit different, different show, but here we go. So we are here. I'm starting my show. So good evening, good morning, good afternoon. And lovely friends, thanks very much for tuning in. I am live with you, live with you. I'm pinching myself, pinching myself. I'm here live with you on the Astro Radio Network, even on Circuit Creator and Moose TV, one of the, the shows we are improvising, the shows we are creating live here for you. And then if this is the very first time you are joining me, I'm your show host, Susanna medium and then I love everything spiritual, everything psychic and mediumistic world and conversation. And in this show today, I'm going to talk to you about something very, very special. And then you see, just one moment, I'm going back to, I'm going to show you the other side. There were some ducks over there. If you can see a little bit later, they were just gliding through the, the picture as well. So it's very, very beautiful. So here we go. So, you know, it's interesting because I I, I, I was thinking, let's talk about March, what is happening in March 2023, but then something else reminded me of talking about something else. So, as I said, God is talking, God is talking to us, and whether we are here in living form or in the spirit consciousness, we are still alive, just as alive as we are right now here. So I tell you what, a few days ago, I had a friend staying staying here, and you see the house, the, my home where I live, is beautifully tuned in. It's quite an eclectic space. It's an old home. It's an eclectic space. Uh, we are tuning the spaces and the rooms all the time, and uh, with a singing bowl or just me chanting. That really does does the job. Does the trick here. But then, what was really, really interesting? You know, last time I talked to you about a little bit about mediumship and how much our loved ones are around us. And then this is what happened. I was upstairs and he came downstairs a little bit, a little bit later and a little bit later, a little bit later. He was saying that, you know what, when I was coming through this room, the very room where I'm sitting right now, I was present to you in that armchair over there opposite me. I was present to a man sitting, an energy sitting. Of course, there is nobody else here in the house. It was just us here. And he was saying, oh, there's a man. There's a man's energy. And he was a little bit pulled back because he felt that he needed to behave in certain ways and just listen to what this man was saying. And then you need to know that this friend is not really a medium and not really working on that level, although he's doing some healing, but then his conversation is different. So I was quite bewildered. I was really, really intuited by, by, by his story. And then he was saying to me that, you know, that man who was sitting there, he was just really here protecting the space and looking after the space and then just watching who is entering this house and who what is happening here. So I tell you what, I was really, really, I was really, really touched by his conversation because I showed, I said to him, you know, look over there, there's a photo just above the armchair, a small photo. Uh, was it that man? You know, just look at, look at, there's an old photo over there. And then he said, oh yes, my goodness, but that was the man. This is how I saw the man and even the energy. And I need to tell you, that was my paternal grandfather. My paternal grandfather, not many, not many people know that their energies, even on that level, they are in the house and they are protecting me and protecting my, my home here. So I was really, really, 
um, beautifully touched by the whole energy, the whole conversation, because who would have thought, who wouldn't, who would have, oh, how would he that, how would this friend have known that, that there is that energy there? Um, and then after that, of course, told him the story that, yes, those people, my paternal grandparents, they lived in a village, in a small village. In fact, they lived at the end of the village and in this old house and even older house than my house. And they had the open fire and, oh, I don't know what I had, but then they kept animals. It was just very, very beautiful. It was so very rural. And for us visiting them as children of the town, we, you know, we, some, so, sometimes we needed to see the cows. We remembered what the whole world is about. But then what was really fascinating that, what, what is really fascinating, and I bet they are over there sitting, because they are sitting here, because that is a fireplace. I still use, I'm able to use that, um, that uh, log burner over there. And then they are watching the fire. They are watching the fire of the place, the, the fire. Just think about what fire represents in the home, even traditionally, and even not even traditional, but what does it, what does it really represent for us? So um, I was just so very beautifully, beautifully touched by the whole experience because somebody else had an encounter with that energy and then they were receiving messages. So it was very, very beautiful. But you see, it made me think then following a couple of days later, I was sitting there over there. I'm, sure I'm not going to take you around in this in this room, but I was sitting over there. And, you know, I love sitting on the other side of the room because my eyes are sitting over there on the bookshelf. And then if you watched my earlier shows here on, on the Asso Radio Network a good two years ago, you remember when I was sitting in the corner with lots of lots of books behind me. Now that is a well, that is a corner over there I'm talking about. So what I'm doing when I'm sitting over there, I'm just looking over there and I'm just just really calmly breathing. You can try actually the same, you know, maybe that's why we are talking about this. But then you can do the same, you know, you just cast your eyes on the books. And then not necessarily you are looking for a, a book or a picture or anything, but then just notice where your eyes are going, maybe a picture you notice, maybe a name, maybe an author, maybe a title or anything, what you notice. And then there are, an, that is an opening, opening to a conversation and what you might need to listen to. And then that was actually, once again, it happened because it usually happens when I'm listening because I'm talking to the ones who are looking after the fire and I'm talking to the rest of the family. In fact, there were about 38. I told me that about 38 of them were here in the house and that night just really keeping keeping everybody, each other in company and telling and looking after each other, looking after me here. But then what was really interesting because I, had, I started having a conversation with them and I asked, I asked various questions, so I got a lot of lot of conversations and how I know it's really interesting because I tend to record everything. So even a few minutes ago before the show, I, I dipped into that conversation, what we are recording. And I asked them, so how can I help people? How can I help people? And then I say, they said to me, and then it's not just to me, but then to you as well, lovely listeners, that we tend to help the ones which or who have similar life stories or life experiences to us. And then our attention is very much on the other person and we are giving, giving, giving. And maybe after three, five, 10, 15 times giving energy, giving whatever we give to each other, then we pause and we reflect on ourselves and on our lives. And then they told me that you need to keep things in balance because it's not just giving, 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 but then receiving it. And don't be ashamed and don't be guilty once you say that now, there is a giving energy. Now let's see how the energy is moving back. Not necessarily you want to receive something, but then that is just a reminder that when we give, we receive. When we give, when we receive. And then they gave me this long conversation, but I kept kept thinking, okay, so how can I help people? And they said, you know, give. you need to give space, space to yourself. And then ask one question and have the other person, but then let the energy coming back to you. Because why? Because you tend to have people, and that's your story as well, my lovely listener, that we tend to have the person who is in a similar situation. Because once we are asking the question, how can I help you? We are helping another person, but it means that we are helping ourselves at the same time. And just notice, because that is where it, where it gets really interesting. Because when we are helping another person, we are helping ourselves. And it feels good for us, good to us, to be able to help the other person. Because in the situation, we forget about ourselves. Because our story, our focus is on the other person. But in fact, we are helping ourselves. 
ourselves as oneself, as I am, you know, yourself. So I asked, I kept asking my father, okay, but how can I have it? And tell me more, you know, give me more information here. And what he was saying that even the moment when you are asking the question, how can I help you? You need to know that it is not you as a person asking the question, but in fact, it is God who is asking the question through you. You are never the person who is asking the question. Your only job is just to being there for the other person, giving an eye contact, looking, giving energy to the person, just like how I'm looking at you, my lovely ones over there. And then just opening your mouth and you do not need to, not even thinking what you are going to say because you are thinking, how can you help? But then your job is to open your mouth because God, spirit consciousness, spirit wants to talk through you. And then after that, everything is being taken taken care of. Nothing what you say, nothing what you think, not, but nothing what you say, even just the first sound what you utter without even a word, shaping a word or a sentence is not coming from you because it is coming from God, whether you expect it or whether you believe it or not, whether you take it or not, but it is coming from God consciousness. And I really sat here and then I, I really reflected on this of how very beautiful it is because when I'm saying something, it's not coming from me. It's not coming from me because I am just like anybody else, a human who is really with a mind thinking, thinking, thinking. So not much would be coming out of the thinking, the pile of thinking nonstop. But then we, when we pause, we bring the energy back to ourselves. We take a breath. We give the love energy, the compassion to the other person. Open your mouth and the words are coming from your heart space. And it's never yours, but it is coming from spirit and God consciousness. So I needed to tell you this story. Reflect on this. Let me know what resonates. Did you send me an email? You can find all the information around me. And then I tell you what, I'm sending you lots of love and many, many blessings and enjoy the view. See you next week. Bye.